Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that write inverse, converse and contrapositive of the given conditional statement if a number ends in 0 or 5 then it is divisible by 5. Also write their symbolic notation. As we know, if we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion and rewrite it in if-then form, then the new statement form is called the inverse of the conditional statement. If we exchange the hypothesis and the conclusion in the if-then statement, then the new statement formed is called the converse of the conditional statement. If we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion of the converse of the conditional statement and rewrite in the if-then form, then the new statement so formed is called the contrapositive of the conditional statement. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. We are given the conditional statement if a number ends in 0 or 5 then it is divisible by 5. It is in if p then q form. That is, we have P implies Q is if a number ends in 0 or 5, then it is divisible by 5. So here, hypothesis denoted by P is a number ends in 0 or 5. And conclusion denoted by Q is it is divisible by 5. Now we will write the inverse, converse and contrapositive of the given conditional statement along with their symbolic notation. First we shall write the inverse of a conditional statement. For this we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion and rewrite it in the if-then form. It is denoted by not P implies not Q. So here not P implies not Q is if a number does not end in 0 or 5 then it is not divisible by 5. Now we shall write the converse of a conditional statement. To write the converse, we exchange the hypothesis and the conclusion in the if-then statement. We will rewrite the statement If P then Q in the form If Q then P It is denoted by Q implies P. So here Q implies P is if a number is divisible by 5, then it ends in 0 or 5. Now lastly, we shall find the contrapositive of a conditional statement. For this, we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion of the converse of the conditional statement and rewrite in the if-then form. It is denoted by not Q implies not P. 
we have the following conditional statement p implies q is if a number ends in 0 or 5 then it is divisible by 5 the converse of this statement will be q implies p which is if a number is divisible by 5 then it ends in 0 or 5. Now we will write its contrapositive. Not Q implies not P is if a number is not divisible by 5 then it does not end in 0 or 5. This is the required answer. With this we complete our session Hope you enjoyed this session.